Hi, have you ever heard about ISRO? Probably yes, because few months back NASA invited India to jointly explore Mars and send astronauts. Charles L.G., director of Jet Propulsion Laboratory or JPL, a part of NASA, says India and the US could jointly explore Mars and even invited India to send astronauts to the red planet. But first, let's know what is ISRO and what makes NASA to invite them for joint exploration. The Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO is the space agency of Republic of India headquartered in the city of Bengaluru. Its vision is to harness space technology for national development while pursuing space, science, research and planetary exploration. It established in 1962 by the effort of independent India's first Prime Minister Jahallal Nehru and his close aide and scientist Vikram Saravai. The establishment of ISRO thus institutionalized space activities in India. It's managed by the Department of Space which report to the Prime Minister of the Republic of India. ISRO built India's first satellite Aryabhatta which was launched by the Soviet Union on 19 April 1975. It was named after the mathematician Aryabhatta. In 1980, Rohini became the first satellite to be placed in orbit by an Indian-made vehicle called SLV-3. ISRO subsequently developed two other rockets, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle called PSLV for launching satellite into the polar orbit and the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle or GSLV for placing satellite into geostationary orbit. These rockets have launched numerous communication satellites and Earth observation satellites. Satellites navigation system like Gagan and IRNSS have been deployed. It's like their own GPS system. In January 2014, ISRO successfully used an indigenous cryogenic engine in GSLB D5. ISRO sent one lunar orbiter, Chandrayaan 1, and it was the first mission to the moon. The unmanned lunar exploration mission included a lunar orbiter and an impactor called the Moon Impact Probe. ISRO launched the spacecraft using a modified version of PSLB on 22 October 2008 from Shatish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. The vehicle was successfully inserted into the lunar orbit on 8 November 2008. It's become the first lunar mission to discover existence of water on the moon. The Chandrayaan-166 team was awarded the American Institute of Aeronautics and the Astronauts Space 2009 award. ISRO sent one Mars orbiter which successfully entered Mars orbit on 24th September 2014, making India the first nation to succeed on its first attempt, and ISRO the fourth space agency in the world as well as the first space agency in the Asia to successfully reach Mars orbit. India's Mars mission, which a budget of $73 million, is far cheaper than comparable mission included NASA's $671 million Marvin satellite for Mars. This is less than one third of the US has spent on their Mars mission Marvins. Future plan included development of GSLV Mark III for launch of heavier satellites development of a reusable launch vehicle, human space flight, future lunar exploration, interplanetary probes, a solar specter mission, etc. On 18 June 2016, ISRO successfully set a record with launch 20 satellites in a single payload and one being a satellite from Google. As India looked to grab a larger slice of lucrative commercial space market, India will launch a rocket carrying 103 satellites in a record single mission by ISRO Wakhos rocket 
PSLV C-37 in February from its Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. It will carry three Indian satellites and 100 foraging ones included from the US, France and Germany. Finally, we can say that by comparison, NASA way bigger and successive than ISRO. But recent years, ISRO has performed many successive missions. So it has potential to grow. Who knows, may someday ISRO become one of the best organization and leaders in space program like NASA. We hope for the best. If you like this video, please click the like button and if you want to know more, please comment below. So subscribe to Dynamic Definition and stay tuned for new videos.